So earlier today, uh, Jeff Flake voted in favor to advance Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court. Now, it came with a little bit of a promise to, oh, no, we'll look into, you know, his background. We'll do uh, an FBI investigation. That, of course, is not necessarily binding as it involves both Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump to adhere to that promise. To which I say, <laughs> oh, you're, you're going to trust Mitch McConnell? You're going to trust Mitch McConnell. No, no, not at all. And if, not, not only that, but Donald Trump, as I said, has to authorize an investigation. Not going to happen. Uh, but a lot of people are wondering, what could be the motivation behind Jeff Flake's flakiness? Well, there might be one thing, um, and this is actually being widely cited, uh, as, uh, look, he might have been might have been shamed into it. Uh, while he was standing in an elevator, two women walked up to him and basically let him know how they felt about his vote. I understand that you said just last night you felt that the, way, that the, that the witness was in fact credible. On Monday, I stood in front of your office with Addie Barkin. I told the story of my sexual assault. I told it because I recognized in Dr. Ford's go. story that to to she's the telling the truth. What you are doing is allowing someone who actually violated a woman to sit in the Supreme Court. This is not tolerable. You have children in your family. Think about them. I have two children. I cannot imagine that if for the next 50 years, they will have to have someone in the Supreme Court who has been accused of violating a young girl. What are you doing, sir? I was this sexually assaulted and nobody country. believed me. I didn't tell anyone, and you're telling all women that they don't matter, that they should just stay quiet because if they tell you what happened to them, you're going to ignore them. That's what happened to me, and that's what you're telling all women in America, that they don't matter. They should just keep it to themselves because if they have told the truth, you're just going to help that man to power anyway. That's what you're telling all of these women. That's what you're telling me right now. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You're telling me that my assault doesn't matter. That what happened to me doesn't matter. And that you're going to let people who do these things into power. That's what you're telling me when you vote for him. Don't look away from me. Look at me and tell me that it doesn't matter what happened to me. That you'll let people like that go into the highest court of the land and tell everyone what they can do to their bodies. Oh, he looked incredibly uncomfortable in there. He's like, I can't, I can't get out. I can't get out. I'm, I'm literally cornered in an elevator. I can't shut the door. And I, I have no choice but to let this woman yell at me. Oh, it was great. That was awesome. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Um, now, was he shamed? into making this deal like having the FBI look into it um you, you could say maybe uh I say maybe because I don't necessarily know what's in the guy's head right but I do think it also could be a way to do political cover I mean again basically he's handing off this very important vote since he already vo voted yes to advance him to the senate so now he's saying hey man pff, it's off me now uh yes I voted to confirm him but only if we have an investigation, but you already made your vote. Now you're relying on both Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump to put forward that FBI investigation. Again, Trump's got to authorize it. Do you think that's going to happen? No, I don't think that's going to happen at all. But oh man, nonetheless, you got to give a lot of credit to these uh, brave women for coming out. Um, one of them is uh, Maria Gallagher. She's been uh, identified as, and uh, she's like, "Hey, don't, don't don't you look away from me? Don't you look away from me when I'm telling you exactly what's going on?" That's what we need to do. Uh, that again, that is incredibly powerful. Um, and look, if, if he wasn't moved by that, if that's not part of his calculation, because look, I always tend to believe that this is all political calculations, but then again, sometimes people are actually human. So 
maybe some, maybe a little bit of part of that got to him, or maybe I'm just being incredibly, uh, you know, too fair to him. I don't know. Um, but for me, as a human being, I, I can't sit and, and listen to that and not be impacted in some way. So maybe I hope that there's a little bit of humanity in Jeff Flake, but the cynical part of me comes back and says, nah, man, it's all political. He doesn't actually care. Uh, and so he's just doing this for, uh, good political gain. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.